Today, it's the students versus their favorite teachers from B. Reed Henderson High School in West Chester, Pennsylvania, and they just entered the classroom. You guys know the deal. I let my students go head to head with their favorite teachers to say I am smarter than you. Bragging rights, cash is on the line. Before we meet our contestants, we're jumping to this game right now. Pop quiz starts now. <laughs> Grab your buzzers. We have one minute on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. All right, you guys, feeling the vibe? We're feeling good? Are we smiling at least? That's yeah, the, uh, yes, they're feeling good. <laughs> Students, best of luck today. Teachers, have fun. Time starts right now. Frederic Auguste. Bartholdi was a French sculptor famous for designing what iconic American landmark? First one in, Mr. Kernahan. Statue of Liberty. That's right. What is 108 divided by 12? Preston. Nine. Nine is correct. Erythrocyte is another name for what component of human blood? Mr. Kernahan. Carbon. For the free steal here. Preston. Red blood cell. Bam! In January 2022, what Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback announced his retirement after 18 seasons in the NFL? Mr. Kernahan. Ben Roethlisberger. There it is. Extra credit question. I'm going to double up the points here. Good luck. What savage artist won Best New Artist at the 2021 Grammy Award Show? Mr. Kernahan. Savage 21. Incorrect. Zach. 21 Savage. Looking for Megan the Stallion. Hinduism. Buddhism and Taoism are all religions that originated on what continent? Mr. Kernahan. Asia. Asia is right. And how about that, teachers? Mr. Kernahan put his team on his back. He said, let's go, guys. I got this. My is still ready to push your button one time. She's like, come on, Richard. Give me a question. Well, we have plenty of game left to play. Students, nice job. You came out swinging there. You got where you need to be, which is points on the board. We're off to a great start today. I'm excited because we have the students and teachers from Westchester Henderson High School in Chester County. Look at that. That's a beautiful school. Look at that size of that clock. It's home of the Warriors. Let's meet our teams. Hi, I'm Preston Lubeski. I'm a senior and I run track and field. Hi, I'm Zach Marsden. I'm a senior and I've played guitar with Green Day. Hi, I'm Alicia. I'm a senior and I am a hen artist. Hi, I'm Dr. Litton. I teach chemistry. Go Warriors. Hola, I'm Maestra M. I teach Espanol. I love to travel to Costa Rica every school vacation, so I'm waiting for June. Adios. Hi, I'm Mr. Kernahan. I teach social studies at Henderson High School, and we're here to throttle these kids. All right, that's exactly the kind of trash talk we expect. Kernahan, you came out swinging, and that's the trash talk you love. Are you feeling confident today? Yes. Do you know these students well? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> students, do you actually attend the school Kernahan goes to? Oh yeah. I think we do. Uh, All right. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have you heard a lot of that talk? Like, are these pre are these teachers pretty good? In the hallway, yes. Oh, but yeah. you guys are smart and ready to rock. Oh, I see. Of course, yes. we are. Zach. Really quick, what? You played the guitar with Green Day? That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't say it like that, Zach. You give me a little bit of the story that goes along with it. Well, I was at uh, Firefly Music Festival down in Dover, Delaware, yeah. and they brought me on stage, and they were just I like played. that handsome guy with the good <laughs> hair, cut up here. You made uh, you made a sign, right? Yeah, we made a sign. Uh, you know, me and my friends, we held it up, and. Uh, Pick me right out of the crowd. Nice, and that's a great way to start your career, man, as hey. uh, going to be the best new guitarist anyone's ever heard. Yeah. All right, guys, listen, there's nothing better than sending a teacher to detention, so let's give them the opportunity. Oh. 
put your buzzers down, you'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. Listen, these teachers are all smiles, but can they hold on to the lead? We find out now with detention. Students, you are trailing, so we give you this category first. You talk about a pass or play on history. So we should do Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're going to play it. All right, I love the team chatter. Though. That was <laughs> awesome. Okay, what is the name of the intercepted telegram between Germany and Mexico that contributed to the U.S. entry into World War One? Zimmerman telegram. Uh, Zimmerman telegram. That's exactly right. Hi. Zimmerman telegram gets you there. Now here's the cool part, right? You get your hands. You say, "Let's go," because who's going to detention? Oh, Mr. Mr. Kernahan. 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 Sorry. Yeah. yeah. What? I was gonna pick <laughs> Kernahan if you guys didn't. Kernahan, get out of here. Head to detention. And now we have Dr. Linton and Maestro the M still left in the game. And the category is yours, okay? And we start with notable people. Do you want to pass or play? You guys talk about it. Okay. All right, we'll play. You're going to play. Here you go. What former astronaut and U.S. Senator was the first American to orbit the Earth? Mark Kelly, right? Yeah. I like it. Mark Kelly. Incorrect. The answer, John Glenn is who we were looking for there. And how about it? Alicia, Zach, and Preston, you guys didn't have to do anything. And you still get to send one of your teachers oh. to detention. Dr. Dr. Lynn. Oh, not Dr. even Dr. a conversation. <laughs> you think strategy is involved? No, nope, they hold no. grudges. And they went after Dr. Linton there. All right, two teachers down. One to go. Good luck. Thanks. All right. Students, the category is yours to pass or play on, okay? And here you go. It's popular books. Let's go for it, I guess. Right? I guess. Let's go for we'll it. go for it. You're going to go for it. In Roald Dahl's Matilda, what is the name of Miss Honey's aunt, who is also the headmistress at Matilda School? Oh, my God. I don't remember. I've watched this movie. Any idea? Uh, um, I need an answer. Uh, um... Uh, no okay, the answer, Miss Trunchbull was who we were looking for. Okay. And that lady okay. was scary. Okay. <laughs> Listen, we may not have we may not have a student in detention yet, but we're about to have one. Maestra, who's it gonna be? Preston. Preston. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Preston, you join two teachers in detention right, while we right. hang out. And just like that, the pendulum now swings in the opposite direction, and you control the category. All right, here it is. Sports. Pass or play? Pass. Okay. Uh-oh. We'll have to see. Good luck, everybody. In the NBA, what type of foul awards a player with two free throws gives his team possession of the ball afterwards and sometimes results in a player being ejected. What type of foul is that? I don't know the type of foul. Oh, oh yeah. we were looking for flagrant, and oh. what a pass oh, right here by my extra. Would you have gotten that right? No, because I, I had an answer for that, wasn't it? Okay, so <laughs> perfect pass here. Is it Zach or Alicia? Now be careful. Zach. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zach is out of the game, and we are down to one teacher and one student left. Alicia, this is your category, though. Yikes. So think okay. about it. She put this game in your hands. You show her why. Okay. Are you Definitely. ready? This is your bit. category to pass or play on. Social media. I think I'll play. Here you go. In 2022, who became the first woman to reach 300 million followers on Instagram? Um. Come on, come on, wait, I know this. Um, Kim Kardashian's sister. <laughs> um, Stormy's mom. All of which were 
Correct, Kylie Jenner Kylie was who Jenner. we were looking for. You couldn't get it done. Oh my goodness, Alicia, you are going to detention. Teachers, oh get back here God. and celebrate. Ryan with her back against the wall has said, I am here to win. Grabs the points, 70 on the board. That's how you battle your way back right there. Alicia, head over to detention. That is why we play this game. Come on in here, you guys celebrate while we do that. You right there, stay here. This game is just heating up and it's only getting better in classroom. Returns after this. Woo! What a comeback! here today. Welcome back to the classroom on the show. It's the students and teachers from Westchester Henderson High School in Chester County. It's a great game, so let's keep it going. Art class is next. Here's how to play the game. Each team selected one player to draw. The first artist will select a card with a word or phrase hidden on the inside. Hmm? They will have five seconds to draw, then their teammates will have 10 seconds to talk and make one guess. A correct answer is worth 30 points, and if the team guesses incorrectly, I'll give them a couple more chances, but the points hmm? decrease. All right, after a huge comeback from the teachers there, students, you are trailing. Alicia, you're up here with me. Yeah. What color do you want to take? I'll take red. Yeah, it matches the shirt. You stand back oh, here. Yeah. She's already got her pen in hand, which is good. She's telling me she's ready right now. Take a look at that. That's okay. what you're going to draw, okay? And you okay. have five seconds to do it, okay. and your time starts right now. Okay, stop right there. You guys ready? <laughs> yeah. Pretty good. No, no. Pretty good. Okay. What is it? Talk through it. Oh, my it. gosh. Oh. Talk through it. <laughs> Maybe a, a key or a, ga a gas or something? I don't know. Uh, oh my gosh. One guess? Uh, putting ca no. uh, gas in a car? Okay. That's not correct. You ready? Five more seconds. 20 points on the board. Go. Yeah. Okay, stop right there. You ready, guys? <laughs> she added some stuff. Oh, toothpaste. Brushing your teeth. Oh. Well, one one answer. Uh, putting, putting to, uh, toothpaste. Toothpaste. Toothpaste is oh, right. Nice. What is? Oh my goodness! That was I was all over the map. Are they gonna say it? Are they gonna? That was a great add-on, Alicia. Oh, Nicely guys. done there in the second round. Twenty points gets added to your score. Brings you guys up to forty. Oh, yeah. All right, Thank Mr. You. Kernahan, come on back. Okay, good luck. We're gonna Thank switch you, you guys out. I'm gonna give you the blue card. You open that while I erase oh. your board. All right. Now listen. You're at seventy points right now. They just got twenty points. That's your word, okay? All right, I give you the pen. Good luck, five seconds starts now. He's a quick, quick artist. Stop right there. Boom, you guys ready? Here it is. Talk through it. Answer? Answer? Uh, Front door of a house. <laughs> Incorrect. Five more seconds. Mr. K starts right now. Okay, he's going. He's off to the races here. Okay, stop. You guys ready? Yeah. What is it? Oh, a merry-go-round? Revolving door. Oh, uh, no, merry go One. No, no. Carousel. Carousel is right! Yes! And how about it? That is exactly, again, I'm like, are they gonna say it right? Teachers put 20 on the board, get you up to 90, and a good lead heading into the next round. But I'm gonna grab some extra credit, pull it out of my pocket, and let's throw it out there. I love that you just went double arms in the air. Yes! We said the right thing. Extra credit on the line. Here you go. You guys have one minute during commercial break to write down your answers. And here is your question. Naranja is the Spanish word. Are you kidding me? For what <laughs> fruit? Sometimes it's called serendipity. All right. <laughs> when the, will the Spanish teacher get it? Only time will tell. Go to break. You guys come back. Classroom. Good you text.
Hey, welcome back to the classroom by the skin of your teeth. You've made it back. And today it's the students and teachers from Westchester Henderson High School in Chester County. I'm loving this. Teachers, you're smiling on my left. Students, you had a great round there. That's We're feeling confident. <laughs> Let's do it. Extra credit question. And it was this. Naranja is the Spanish word for what fruit? And we start with students. You said Preston. Orange. Orange is correct. And we move over to our teachers. Orange. Ah, I can't believe you guys got that one with the Spanish teacher on your team. All right, students, if you guys win this thing, 500, where's it going? Uh, we're actually putting it towards uh, furniture for our warrior block. Oh, cool. Because right now we're just sitting on the grass. Yeah, right. That's not great. <laughs> Listen, get some Adirondack chairs out there. All right, nice. Teachers, how about you? Uh, we're putting the money towards gym equipment for awesome. the warrior block. Yeah. All right, cool. This warrior block sounds all right. Everybody, we're smiling already. Let's keep it going. It's picture day. Grab your buzzers. We will show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. I will give you three clues one at a time. With each clue, remove three boxes. The first person to buzz in and correctly identify that picture will win 10 points for their team. If you get it wrong, a member of the other team will have a chance to buzz in and steal. All right, steals are in play, and we start with this picture. Good luck. This person has famous parents. Ooh, not a lot there. Not much. No answer. We moved to clue two. In 2017, she was named a global makeup ambassador for Yves Saint Laurent. Ooh. Yeah, I also have nothing, Preston. Okay. <laughs> this divergent and fantastic B star also played Selena Kyle in the 2022 movie The Batman. Mr. Kernahan. Zoe, no. Oh, um, I don't have it. Steal over here. Preston buzzing if you want to guess. Zoe Kravitz. Is that Zoe Kravitz? Sure Let's is. Go. Sure is Zoe Kravitz. Nice. As Dr. Lit was like, say it, say Zoe Kravitz. <laughs> she tried. She was trying to will it towards you there. All right, here we go, guys. Picture two. This popular tourist attraction opened to the public in 2000. Hmm. Clue two, it was scheduled to be dismantled after five years, but plans were scrapped due to its popularity. Last one, here you go. This massive Ferris wheel stands on the bank of the River Thames. Mr. Kernahan. Eye of London. Is that the Eye of London? That is correct, there it is. How about it get you up to 110? Nice job, Mr. K. Bringing us to picture three. Good luck, everyone. This person appeared in Free Guy and The Masked Singer. Mr. Kernahan. Ken Jeong. Is that Ken Jeong? For yes. Uh, Buzzing if you know. Preston. Ryan Gosling. Is that Ryan Gosling? Uh, what a handsome win there. I love that. Clue two. Here we go. He's played Fortnite with celebrities. Here we go, clue number three. He is one of the world's most famous gamers and announced in September 2022 he would no longer be exclusively streaming on Twitch. Preston. Ninja. Is that Ninja? That's your boy Richard Blevins. It sure is. Students up to 70, teachers 110 as this game heads into the final exam. <laughs> Uh, the topic of today's final exam is numbers and symbols. Teams, three questions, 100 points each. And here is your question. How is the number 59 written in Roman numerals? Question two. Drake's 2022 song, Jimmy Cooks, features what rapper with a numerical name? And finally, an exclamation point indicates what kind of mathematical function. 60 seconds on the clock while you guys head to break. These guys put their heads together and see who wins this game. When we come back, we crown a champion. We'll see you right after the break.
Let's do this thing. Let's crown a champion. Welcome back into the classroom. Today, the students and teachers from Westchester Henderson High School in Chester County, they're going after it. $500 on the line. It's a big old check, and they both want it. And guess what? They both can win it. The score is teachers 110, playing a great game and looking good while you're doing it. Students, you always look good, and you're playing <laughs> a great game. Anybody's, anyone's final exam here. And the numbers and symbols is the topic. So let's jump into it. Three questions, and here is your first. How is the number 59 written in Roman numerals? And we're going to start with the students. Alicia. That's our answer. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. think there's one too many X's in there right now. Yeah. But oh, hold no. on. Mr. Kernahan, you said? L I X. Licks. That's going to get you there up to 210, and that is huge. Students, you're going to have to get both answers right here to stay in the game and win this thing <laughs> and, stu and hope that the teachers get one wrong. But they've been on fire. But we go to this. Drake's 2022 song, Jimmy Cooks, features what rapper with a numerical name? Students, stay in the game. What'd you say? 21 Savage. Boom! They yes, stay in it. That's exactly right. what you needed to do. Hold on tight. My name's Stradam. You've been unbelievable all game. If you get this right, the game is over. But the students are saying, why would they know 21 Savage? The question is, did you for $500? What'd you say? We know 21 Savage. 21 Woo! Savage! And the teachers win the game at $500! An exclamation point indicates what kind of mathematical function? A factorial. Hey, get out here. Join me. Where's Principal Sherlock? With the big old check, he's here to hang out with us for sure. He's got that money. You guys have a good time today. Hey, we thank you guys for being here. Hey, we'll see you next time right here on The Classroom. Thanks for joining us. 500 bucks.